All right, so now that we've kind of discussed layers, what I want to do is show you how to select things. And we're going to get into selections a lot as we move through here. Um, but I want to show how to select, and we'll come back to it in a future lesson to really practice. This is just a basic overview. Um, the first thing you have is to move, right? So I can take something, I can use the move tool, click on layer one, and I can move it around. We kind of already saw that when we were, you know, working in the last video. The second thing that you have in your toolbar is called a marquee tool. And if you hover over it, it says rectangular marquee, and you can see that it's, it makes a selection in the shape of a rectangle. If I click and hold, I can get an elliptical marquee or a single row or column. What's important to remember about Photoshop compared to Illustrator is Illustrator is for graphic creation. Photoshop is for photo manipulation. So you can make graphics in Photoshop, but remember they're going to be having in, they're going to be measured in pixels and not in vectors, and so they're not really scalable. Um, Photoshop is more for you to be able to take a bunch of different photos or graphics and manipulate them and bring them together. Because if you zoom in, if I go to the edge of one of these buns here and I hold Alt on my keyboard and I zoom with my scroll wheel, just like I did in um, Illustrator, or you can use the magnifier over here. If you zoom in far enough, you're going to see the pixels that make up this image. Um, and what's important is that as you select things, like draw a rectangular marquee, you're drawing around these pixels and selecting those pixels. You can see that when I click and drag using the rectangular marquee tool, it's going to give me these little dancing ants showing me what I've selected. And what's important is now I can't really do anything outside of that box. I can move the box around if I'm selected on my marquee tool here. But when I want to do other things, like maybe I want to fill it, I can grab my paint bucket and if I click outside the marquee, you'll see nothing will happen. But if I click inside of it, it will try and fill it. I don't want to do any of this. I just am showing you that the marquee makes a selection and then you can only do things inside that selection. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit control Z on my keyboard and go back to when I just have something selected. I'm going to go back to my marquee tool and make sure it's selected because when you're on your marquee tool, you can move it around and do things with your marquee. But this is in fact a selection, which means that I, if I want to get out of the selection, I have to deselect. So looking up here on the um, men menu up at the top where we have file, edit, image, all those kinds of things, what would you what would you choose if you were wanting to deselect this selection? Well, for me, I want to deselect the selection, so select is probably where I'm going to go. And you can see that the second option right there is to deselect. Um, I could come up here every time I want to and hit select, deselect, but I can tell you right now, we're going to be selecting and deselecting a lot of stuff, so you better get comfortable with this keyboard shortcut of Control D. So if I hold Control D or Control down on my keyboard and press the D key, you'll see the selection will disappear. The next selection tool down below is the lasso tool. And if we hover over it, it'll give a little video showing that you can actually manually draw around something and select it. So I could sit here and I could attempt to draw around this, but you can see that your hand is probably not very steady and neither is mine. And so I'm not gonna get really close to the edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that, but then I'm gonna control D to deselect it. If I click and hold on the lasso tool, there are other lasso tools, but at this point in time, we're not gonna go over those. The next tool below that is called the object selection tool. And you can preview how it's going to show that you can select the button. So you draw a square around the object you want to select and Photoshop's going to try and use color to determine what you want to select. So I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to draw around these two buttons and select them. When I do that, you'll see that Photoshop actually will find the edge. But what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to get rid of the white. To get rid of the white, I need to de to select the white to delete it. Because right now, how would you how would you delete what you have selected? Well, most people would um, right click cut. Actually, is what a lot of people do. But cutting is not deleting. By the way, cutting is putting it into your clipboard so that you can paste it somewhere later. We want to delete it. So on your keyboard, a lot of people hit backspace. Backspace is great. It's going to remove it, but it's removing the buns and not the white. So you're removing the wrong piece of it. So I can hit Control Z on my keyboard to go back. You could also hit Delete on your keyboard instead of Backspace, and that'll delete it as well. Hitting Control Z, though, that's not what I want to do because I have my um, buns selected and not the white. But I want you to think about this for just a second. The buns are selected. They're what I want to keep. 
everything around it that is not selected, everything else that is not selected on this image is what I want to get rid of. So I can actually select the inverse of this because Photoshop has what I want selected. It's just the wrong, it's the opposite of what I want. So if I go up to select here, is there an option for me to get the opposite of what is currently selected? Yeah, I could inverse this selection. So if I go to select and I choose inverse or shift control I, you'll see that now it still has the dancing dots around the bun, but now it has some on the outside of the image as well, which means that my buns aren't selected, <laughs> but everything else is. So if I hit delete on my keyboard now or backspace, it's gonna remove all that white and it's going to show me the black on the background layer behind it. And you can see that now everything where the black is, we have a checkerboard on our layer or thumbnail here because that's see-through or transparent. And then I can hit Control D on my keyboard to deselect. And now I've got some buns.